Oh, I love Kemi Piro. Overall, it's uh, to me, it's like the best carbon out there. Boyd Enterprises came to MACNA 2013 with a big presence. Each Boyd Aquarium carried a message beyond just the beautiful fish and corals. Meanwhile, Boyd President Jeff Turner and son Joe captained their boat, the Radical, a 33-foot hydrosport powered by Chemipure in the nearby intercoastal waterway and out on the beautiful Atlantic Ocean, taking MACNA piers snorkeling and fishing. And we're about eight miles out, and we're at the... Mac, the 2013 Dolphin Rodeo. Oh, you guys are getting blood on the boat. That's a baby. Let him back. Put him back. It's a baby. And giving them a view of the South Florida skyline most Magna goers would never see. There they go. Oh, of course. Look at that. They Look went right that. to it. As the Boyd crew completed setup on Thursday, Turner served sandwiches featuring his freshly caught mahi mahi. Gio, what do you got there? We got a trumpet fish from the Florida Keys. This is phenomenal. Eventually, the 500 gallon Caribbean reef took shape, complete with trumpet fish, a yellow spotted ray, and lots of emerald crabs. And a closer look reveals a school of grunts from fisheye aquaculture, grown using methods developed by the Rising Tide Conservation Initiative. We started getting it, we got a protocol from the University of Florida and the Rising Tide Conservation. And uh, we've started putting these fish in production and as far as, as far as I know, we're the first one to do it commercially. So these are about three months old, just past metamorphosis, starting to get some of their juvenile coloration. They got their first stripes, their first blue band on them. And right next door, the rising tide showed off tiny captive bred maculosis angelfish. How cute and little. We've seen them when they were bigger and I fell in love with them, but I've never seen one that little. So these were shipped down to the University of Florida's Tropical Aquaculture Lab as eggs, uh, harvested as eggs from the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium by R Ramon Villaverde and Paul Reinhardt, and we raised them up. We're, we're in the process of developing protocols for raising these in captivity to hopefully get captive raised fish in the industry as compared to the uh, wild fish that are currently being exported or imported for the trade. Rising Tide's whole program is related to the breeding of species of fish that haven't been bred before in captivity, marine fish especially, and uh, to allow others to learn the technology so that they can apply it to their operation, whether it's a commercial, a, a, a hobbyist, um, and so that we don't have to take as many fish off the reef long term. The aquariums featured Chemipure's trademark crystal clear water. Many Chemipure users stopped by and reported the same success in their aquariums. It's the best stuff ever. It makes your water clear and it makes it wet. Without it, I, would, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be talking to you without Kemi Pure. I've had very clear water. I've had it help coral growth. And I mean, I've kind of just seen a big increase overall, and I really enjoy the product. Yeah, just keep it floating in my tank, keep some water clear. It's easy. Another aquarium featured seahorses, raised in captivity by the Southwatch Seahorse Farm, which are raised on sustainably collected mysis shrimp from Piscine Energetics. Back in that 500 gallon reef, the Coral Restoration Foundation displayed its coral growing technique that the CRF is using to replenish damaged stag and elkhorn reefs off the Florida coast. In another aquarium, Bangai cardinal fish hovered among aquacultured sea urchins from researcher Martin Moe's lab down in the Keys, where Chemipure has helped him raise delicate diadema urchins through the larval stage. But it made a tremendous amount of difference, and I was able to get over a hundred of them through on this, on this first try. And a fifth aquarium featured Caribbean lionfish, drawing attention to the invasive species and efforts to keep its numbers under control. On Monday, a boat full of lucky winners had the opportunity to dive and snorkel on the Coral Restoration Foundation's underwater coral nursery and the nearby reefs. All of this a part of the Boyd Sponsors Program, one of the very best examples of the aquarium trade giving back to the environment and further evidence that aquarium keepers may be the very best stewards of our precious underwater resources.
Tell me about your experience with ChemiPure. Uh, well, it goes on for years and years. Uh, we've been we've been in business for 32 years, and we've held, had ChemiPure ever since, and we sell just tons of it. Uh, it's good. Uh, we use fresh water, salt water. Uh, it clears stuff up. You, know, you have a that dingy tank that just nothing seems to clear. You put a bag of ChemiPure in there, and got like overnight, it's taken care of.